What's up, what's up? What's up, what's up, what's up? <laughs> Welcome to Super Trivia Bros. I'm Alex. And I'm Gerard. And today we are playing Contra 3 The Alien Wars for Super Nintendo. Uh, so just because you guys were a little bit unclear on how this works, I'm gonna like lay it out for you right now. Real clean and clear. The way that this show works is that he tries to get can to I, a Can I get my lives up? Are yes, you cool yes, with that? Yes, yes, okay. <laughs> yes. Yeah, that'll be BS. Uh, he has to play to a certain point in a game. And before that point, I have to hit a certain number of facts. And if I if I win, I get to choose a challenge for him to do. And if he wins, he gets to choose a challenge for me to do. So we're going to count along with us this time. And what we're going to say for Contra, Contra 3 is that he he's going to have to get to the end of the second level. level two. The end of the second level. Which is the drop top-down drop boss. Yeah. And I have to get 15 trivia facts. So whichever one happens first... Wins and this time around we're gonna have a monitor on screen to keep count. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna we're, yeah we're gonna show you guys along with me, and I'm gonna try and like keep track of it myself. Um, but if if I win, Gerard has to change the name of his Twitter for a week to follow Fasciani A. And if I win in the next episode that we film with the text. <laughs> Alex has to has to work in a dude where's my car reference whenever he says the word and then with Kelly followed with no and then and we'll do we'll do like the bit we'll and do that's the joke that and be, never bring it up yeah. you cannot explain it in the world of the decks yeah everyone this is a beard bros like exclusive <laughs> this is a beard bros secret like yes. you only know if if it happens yeah so I'm gonna have to get 15 facts before he gets the end of level two I let him get seven lives right seven lives couple continues yeah. Uh, but right. if he, I mean, yeah, it's it's more of a time thing than a like stay alive thing. Yes. Are you so, ready? I'm I'm ready. I've done I've done no prior research. Okay. So, so three, yeah, two, one, trivia. Okay. So Contra Three: The Alien Wars uh, was um, released four times. Uh, once on the Super Nintendo, once on the Game Boy Advance, once on the Wii, and once on the Wii U. That's one fact. Uh, Already, Jesus Christ. The um. North American and PAL versions of the game do not have uh, the Konami code like the classic Contra. Uh, you can just choose like you saw Gerard do at the beginning of the game. That's a fact. The Japanese version, though, has a 30 lives cheat, just like the original Contra, and the player always has unlimited continues, which is better. And there's also a stage select code and a sound test code. That's three facts. Oh my gosh, it's unfair! Um, all right. So, this game is um, Ugh. a little bit different than uh, the other Contras in that it has a... Uh, oh, no. That's not true. Damn it. Uh, oh, okay. Here's one. So, the game's title in North America was Super Contra 4 originally because Contra Force, which was like another NES game that was like kind of like Contra, mm -hmm. was supposed to be Contra 3, but... They decided that it actually wasn't Contra 3, and so uh, it's it, this one's called Contra 3 The Alien Wars. That's number four. Um, the Japanese version of the game is uh, called Contra Spirits. Uh, uh, and, uh, yeah, that's... I just want everyone at home to know that I haven't played Contra since the Completious Review. I am very... Dude, I, I love this. I love rusty. this game. I love this I love game, this but game I, too, I suck at it. And I'm super bummed that I'm doing so poorly. Everyone <laughs> at home is probably <laughs> excited at the fact that I'm gonna have to call you Fossi uh, Follow Fossiani A. That's fine. That's fine. So this game is called in Japan. It's called Contra Spirits. That's number six, or five, six. Uh, the 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 PAL version of the game is called Super Probotector Alien Rebels. So is Contra in the title at all? No, because it's not a Contra game in in PAL. In PAL, it's a game with commando robotic soldiers instead of the instead of the Contra dudes. But it's the exact same game. Yeah. So that's uh, that's seven facts. Um, Jesus Christ, seven! I'm not even halfway done with the first level. Sorry, dude. Uh, okay, so what do we got? There's a Game Boy version. You already said that. 
No, there's a Game Boy version of the game that's a port that's not called Contra 3. Uh, that was developed by Factor 5 that has a totally different level structure and it and doesn't count as a, as, a, as a proper release of the game. The other one that I'm talking about is a real release of this game that was on Game Boy Advance, but this is a Game Boy port that is not... This is the this is a Game Boy port that is not, uh, you know, exactly the same game. Similar to like how they did like Mega Man, you know. I gotcha. Yeah. So that's eight facts. Um. Damn. But that is like it. Let's see. Don't say that. Don't tease me like that. I. <laughs> uh. Shoot. So, uh, the character Bill, from this game, Bill Riser, uh, he is, he is a reference to two actors, uh, Paul Riser from Aliens and Just Shoot Me, and Bill Paxton from, like, you know, uh, everything, Aliens, he's also in Aliens, but he's in, like, True Life, you know who Bill Paxton is, mm -hmm. uh, and, but he's supposed to look like <coughs> Arnold Schwarzenegger, so that's nine. That, that I knew. <clears throat> and Lance Bean is uh, Lance Bean uh, is the other character. His name is literally B E A N Bean, uh, and uh, he's based on Sylvester Stallone. Uh, but he is his name is attributed to Lance Henriksen from like Alien, Aliens, Alien, Aliens, Aliens, and Michael Bean. Bane, Michael Bane, Bean, Bane, who who is also in Aliens, and ah. he, who also played Reese in Kyle Reese in Terminator, who which has a movie that if you watch The Completionist closely, you will know that I love. Uh, so that's <laughs> <laughs> so that is ten facts. No, it's not. What? It is, but I'm just trying to delay you. <laughs> Great. <clears throat> um, I'm sorry <clears throat> for those guys. I'm not talking very much. I'm just very. <clears throat> Very scared That's okay. of losing. This, th these top-down stages use uh, the Mode 7 3D animation <sighs> effects Even on, I knew that. on the Super Nintendo. I talked about it in the review. But they use it when the when the player turns. Yeah. So that's 11 effects. Facts. 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 Uh, yeah. Oh. Um, what in the hell else on. is there to say? Oh, shit. At least I'm having fun. The composer of this game... Well, the main composer of this game was Miki Higashino, who uh, worked on this game, but also worked on... Like, is is much more famous for the Sui Koden series. Yeah. So that's... Uh, 12 facts. Uh... And then, um, this game had, uh, new level styles for the series, like motorcycle chases and riding on missiles, uh, which was, uh, which is fact number 13. Um, the, uh, the, the difficulty levels don't just change, like, basic things. They also alter like gameplay aspects, like uh, like the bosses actually have new attacks on on other difficulty levels, and uh, modify their patterns, um, and like m the flying is like harder and like stuff like that. So that's 14 facts. And Jesus Crisis, the uh, the Super Game Boy port of the game, like when you play the Game Boy game on a Super Game Boy. It has its own customized theme and colors. Done. So that's 15. Oh my god. <laughs> we did it at the exact same time. <clears throat> oh my lord. <laughs> what do we do? We the should... exact same time. <laughs> yeah. As you literally said that last few sentences, <laughs> I killed him. Yeah. Uh... Is it one of those things where we both lose? We both have to do what we say. I think that that will be more, more enjoyable for for the for the fans. What we we both do what we say, rather than us neither of us doing anything. We both do what we do because we both lost. Yeah, call it a draw. Call it a draw. 
All right. I can't believe that we had a draw. <laughs> that was that was that was not a planned. That was it, like exactly the wow. right. Yeah, that was crazy. I did not think that was going to happen. I really ran out of facts. Like, I think everyone at home, there was a silent clench. Yeah. Like heard around the world. Yeah, I didn't even I didn't even notice how close it was. I thought that you still had a lot more to go. No, that was it. That was literally it. <laughs> All right. So I'm I'm gonna work in a no and then joke <laughs> into the next episode of the decks. And you, for a week, just change your Twitter handle to follow at Fossiani A. It'll still be at JK Completes, but my name will be like, follow Like Fossiani how I did Gerard's a. Dragon, you will change <laughs> to follow Fossiani A. It's going to be great. All you right, guys, guys are awesome. Thank you. I hope you yeah. enjoyed it. I hope this time it was much more clear. I feel like it was. I feel like it definitely was. There's going to be the numbers in the corner. It'll be good. Yeah. Uh, we'll see you next time on Super Beard Bros. This, this weekend when we do Mother and Link to the Past. Later, man. Later, man. Later, 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 later,